So a while back, we were talking about Snaptrap, a.k.a. Japan's Turtler, the leader of Piranicon and the Seacons, and how, judging by the fact that we're getting him, there's a strong possibility that we would be getting the Seacons and the Piranicons in some shape or form in a Combiner Wars kind of figure. We looked at that old toy, we saw how it clearly was a, a retool, and we knew that there's a possibility something could be coming down the pipes. Well, unexpectedly shown at the Tokyo Toy Show, we finally saw what is going to be, and this actually tells us a lot of things too, what is going to be the debut of Piranicon, or known in Japan as King Poseidon. This is pretty cool. Looks like we're going to be getting everything. So we had in person a um, prototype resin shown off here of, again, Snapper, a snap trap, a.k.a. Turtler. Also shows him in uh, what is going to be his centerpiece combiner mode, which makes the torso of King Poseidon or Piranicon. And also, unexpectedly, which was present there, was uh, Scalor, also known in Japan as Gulf. Uh, one of the limbs of Piranicon was there too. And uh, Scalor, from judging by looking at it, uh, there wasn't a lot of retooling done on Scalor. I mean, in the alt mode, obviously, people are going like, okay, yeah, there's a lot of retooling there. But when you look at the robot mode, yeah, it's just really the backpack and a few other things here and there. But that's clearly Blot's, like, torso there. Like, you look at the robot mode torso, it's clearly Blot that he was retooled from. So it looks like they're taking every piece of... Uh, of Abominus and, and kind of retooling it as much as possible extensively to make uh, Piranicon here. And that's that's pretty cool. Now, another thing to note is that they mention that it's going to be able to have a gun mode. And what's good news with that, it means that if they're going to be a gun mode for the combiner mode, and what I mean by the gun mode is that the original Piranicon, the original G1 Piranicons and Seacons, there were six members, and one extra member also had, you know, of all the combined teams, uh, excuse me, not of all the combined teams, of all the members of this team, they all had a third gun mode or a weapon mode. And they even had a little stand that could have it in display like that too with the original Generation 1 toys. Now, the, the question was, are they going to have all six members here, or are they just going to go with five? Why have the extra character? It looks like with the mention here of having the gun mode that they'll probably have all six members, which is pretty cool. And looking carefully at the accessories and the weapons and stuff like that, um, especially like looking at what would make the hands and the feet, um, it looks like, you know, the back of the hands, they have like a little, like the, the back of the combiner hand, which by the way is amazing because it's like each individual figure is arti a finger is articulated on the combiner hands, which is a nice change. Uh, but on the back of the hand, it looks like there's an extra peg hole, which could be used as a stand probably to then also have like that same gimmick like back in the day to be like a stand for the gun mode if needed, stand alone, no pun intended. Uh, but this looks great. This is great. This is, a, this is something we kind of knew was going to be coming just by speculation because we knew of snap trap but now we see more and he looks spectacular uh and what's good about this is uh you know after you have um after you have king poseidon aka piranicon from the japanese side if you want to then do a crazy little box set beast war second you could get god neptune out of him and then get a little female character out of that and so there's a lot of uh there's a lot of potential here and I'm, I'm very impressed how much it shows how you could literally take, you know, an apple and turn it into an orange and that the extensive retooling going on here. I mean, we, we've already talked about this in the past when I looked at uh, Diatlas, Sonic Bomber and Roadfire and how Takara Tommy just took, you know, those molds from those generation toys and Topspin and, and the crew and just really, you know, turned it upside down and turned it into completely different toys. So this is this is really reassuring because down the line they could give us stuff like we could look at I don't know, I'm just gonna throw out here like let's look at a modern siege toy. You know, you could take something even as simple as, as Sideswipe, which is a generic kind of Lambo car, and if they retool the hell out of it, especially with the way the transformation is, 
you could get a ton of different characters out of it. I mean, the amount of Transformer toys that have a front end of a car that uh, becomes his chest is is limitless. And if you could retool the heck out of something and get a whole other character out of it, you know, the, the possibilities are endless and the engineering costs are down. So it, it works out great for Hasbro and it works out great for the fans that wants to get an obscure character or something with a minimal cost on Hasbro's engineering side or Takara's engineering side. So this is this is super. This is really cool. Um, hopefully we're going to see more as this weekend progresses. Again, as of this recording, it's only Thursday. Tokyo Toy Show is just kind of showing all their stuff right now. Still got a whole weekend ahead of us here. And this looks great. This looks super. Um, hopefully we'll get some color images down the line, although <laughs> we're going to be looking forward to the pinks and light blues that is the Seacons. Um, this is clearly going to be something that's going to be a box set in Japan. It's the, like I mentioned before, when I think when we were discussing it, when we just had the renders of Snaptrap with Jaws D, who, by the way, is still uh, moving, so that's why his absence has been present a couple of uh, days. But, I mean, we mentioned before when we were discussing, like, this is something that would be very awkward if this was a retail product sold in individual pieces. Like, it would just be a sea of pink and blue. Like, uh, an entire wave <laughs> of just pink and blue. In the same way that it was, you know, it was smart that the Constructicons were sold as a box set as opposed to individuals. Because it would be the same thing. You know, you, you don't want to have uh, a store display that kind of has just this one, you know, especially for a singular wave, you know, to have that one color scheme. And you could argue, oh, well, then you could break it up across the waves. But then, you know, what do you have? You have like two pink and blue per wave at a deluxe scale or a Voyager scale. And then you have to spread it across three waves. And then, you know, what happens if like that third last wave of usually most lines becomes more difficult Then all of a sudden people aren't able to complete their combiner? You know, there's always those risk factors. So it's it's just better to do this box set. If, as it stands right now, it looks like this is just going to be a Japanese exclusive for the time being. Uh, if Hasbro Select will uh, will have something, you know, to give an opportunity for people to pick it up, will be determined later. But this looks great. Let us know what you think. I'm really hyped about it. I really hope that they'll do like a Beast Wars second repaint down the line because God Neptune was a really cool color scheme also. Uh, but yeah, this is super. <laughs> 